I am Venom. Hi everyone, this is S. Benenta, back with another video. So let's remember Venom from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3. Let's take a look at Tougher Grace as Venom. How does it feel to be this character? Let's go behind the scenes of the movie with some interesting facts about acting this villain in Spider-Man 3. When Tougher Grace was invited to meeting at Sony, he had no idea he would be auditioning for this film. Tougher Grace was considered for the part of Eddie Brock when the producers saw his performance in 2004 film In Good Company. Also, he left that 70s show TV series to star in this movie. To prepare for his role as Venom, Tougher Grace worked out for 6 months, gaining 24 pounds of muscle. While being in the Venom costume, Tougher Grace didn't drink any water during his breaks because he couldn't use the bathroom with his costume on. One of the sounds used for Venom is of a Tasmanian devil. The animators at Sony Pictures base Venom's movements on big cats, like tigers, panthers and cheetahs. It's probably scanning Venom for his CGI double. And this is Venom musculature test to see how he should move. This video shows the process of bringing him to life. This is a video of the muscle and skin musculoskeletal skinning software used for the CGI Venom model. It gives a great look at an early Venom costume in movement. Here's a potential deleted scene from Spider-Man 3 featuring Venom. The scene could be before or after Venom first meets Sandman, as the architecture looks similar. However, this could be just an animation test for the CGI Venom model. Another look of Venom's mouth. We never got to see this design in the final cut of the film, as it was most likely replaced with CGI. And this is Venom's weird human mouth, that can only be seen in the film for a few frames. Here's a cool look at animatronic Venom bust. This was made to test the animatronics underneath the suit. Here's another costume test for Venom. This one is similar to some of the others. However, the eyes are dark and metallic silver, and Venom has no mouth. And so purple. Another costume test for Venom. Purple again. And look how they changed the Spider logo. You can see the redesign covering up the old logo. As for me, I love the logo they eventually went with, but at the same time I really like the organic look of the Spider logo. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes Venom adventure. Thanks for watching. Let's get as many likes as possible. Subscribe and watch more videos. Bye.